<laughs> so, I'm Mark Slade, and this is our friend, Chrissy McIntyre. And she has been doing an amazing job because she just recently finished a commission of our Love to Live in Maplewood logo um, in her unique form of art. And I want to find out, Chrissy, how is it that you decided this was the style for you? Well, it's an interesting question, Mark. No, uh, <laughs> I, it sort of happened by accident. I decided um, that I, I was working in abstract painting and then I just had all these magazines around and I kept looking through these magazines and seeing all these different colors and I thought, oh, there's a, there must be something I can do with this. So I started cutting out a little bit of tile, like um, kind of mosaics, like all these little pieces here, these like tiny little squares and started make piecing them together and this is a <laughs> so that's the dog that's, that's, that's the dog. setting the image for this piece right here he's coming to life he definitely is coming to life it's not quite there yet but he'll get there and the first thing i did was sort of an abstract piece and um when i put it in the show Everybody was drawn to it. People just kept looking at it, and I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. And then my sister-in-law gave me um, a portrait of my dog. And then I thought, huh, well, maybe I could do something collage with that. And so I did, and I put that in a show, and that was the first thing that sold at the art walk. <laughs> I was so surprised, mainly because I thought it was interesting that somebody bought my dog, but that's another story. Um, and, and so then I just decided to work on... Uh, developing a lot more of my British themed things. Right. And um, that's what caught my eye a few years back when you were at Maple Woodstock. Yeah, I, I like to do. Uh, here, I can take this off. A lot of, I mean, I'm a, such an Anglophile. I've always loved England. And um, so it's just something that sort of came back. But this doesn't look like England. <laughs> <laughs> this I consider a self portrait, really. <laughs> And you said this piece down here was the most recent, which was in the show at the Maplewood Library? Yes, it was. Awesome. Yeah. So, Very cool. And where is this actually? So it's sort of a made-up pub, but the Dog and Trumpet is a pub that I went to a lot with uh, my husband when we were, we were first dating. Nice. Aww, this Very is nice. sweet. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. So that's how it kind of started. Great. Dogs in Britain. So this is the piece that I commissioned with Christy, and I absolutely love it. It's the Love to Live in Maplewood logo, which goes to my blog. Um, so we talked about this project, what, I guess a month and a half, two months ago? Yes, yes. So approximately how many magazines did you have to use to make this baby? <laughs> there was quite a few in there, yeah, because you have to find the right greens and... You have to find interesting, interesting pieces. I really like a lot of texture and different colors. I'm not really drawn to just a flat green. It doesn't really interest mm -hmm. me in the slightest. So um, I just love the way when you put it all together, it just creates this crazy mosaic oh, of it's, color. It, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. I absolutely oh, love you. it. <laughs> I'm so glad. So like how many hours goes into this kind of project? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I almost hate to count them. I mean, I think probably somewhere like 20 hours, 24 hours, something like that. If wow. I just sat and, if I just sat and doing it, it would take, yeah, it takes a while. Well, you can see there's a lot of effort that goes into these and that's great. Thank you. That's what makes you the artist. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for participating in this fun little video. <laughs> and uh, obviously I will send you the link to the Love, and Live, Love, in Ma Love to Live in Maplewood blog where it will appear. Easy for you to say. Yeah, yeah apparently, <laughs> apparently. I'm going to leave that in that way now, purposely. Thank you. <laughs>